Are you planning to visit Santorini? This video is for you. Santorini is the most popular island in Greece and without any doubt is one of the most beautiful Greek islands. We have already made a few travel vlogs about Santorini. Make sure to check them out. But in today's video, I'm going to share more tips and suggestions and what you need to know before traveling to Santorini, like where to stay or why you need to rent a car. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on our weekly travel videos. Santorini is a volcanic island in the Asian Sea. It is known for its unique architecture, stunning views and incredible sunsets. You all probably have seen Santorini's whitewashed buildings with blue dome roofs, but this island has more to offer. But first, how to get to Santorini? Santorini has an international airport and there are many direct flights from Athens and many European cities including London during summertime. Another way to get to Santorini is by ferry. There are frequent ferries from Athens, Crete and some other Greek islands. We actually took a ferry from Milos and it took us two hours to get to Santorini. Traveling by ferry is a popular option even amongst locals, so make sure to book your ticket in advance, especially if your trip is in peak season. But when is the best time to visit Santorini? I highly recommend to avoid traveling to Santorini during the peak season, which is July and August. It is hot, very crowded with tourists, and the prices are the highest. Off-season is between the end of October and March, while you find cheaper hotels and possibly have the whole island to yourself, many hotels and restaurants are closed during this time. Santorini is a touristy destination and not much happens during the off-season. Many Greeks also leave the island during this period. The best time to visit the island to avoid the crowds and high prices is the shoulder season, which includes late May, June, September and early to mid-October. During these months, you'll enjoy pleasant weather, fewer tourists and more reasonable prices. But when you are in Santorini, where to stay? The most popular towns are Io and Fira. Io is famous for its stunning sunsets and picturesque photo spots, while Fira is the capital of the island. Most tourists stay in either of these towns, and if I had to choose between them, I would go for Fira. It has a bit more space, so it doesn't feel as crowded, and you have easy access to public transport. In general, I prefer to stay away from touristy spots, which is why we book a beautiful hotel in the south of the island. Our suite came with a private swimming pool and a jacuzzi, and we paid 300 pounds per night. I will link the hotel in the description. Santorini is not a huge island. You can drive from one side to the other side in less than an hour. This makes it easy to find more affordable accommodation outside of the main towns while still being able to explore the entire island. And now the question is, how many days should you stay in Santorini? You need at least three days to experience the best of the island and visit the top tourist attractions. We stayed for four days and managed to visit Ia, Fira and some other beautiful towns in Santorini like Pyrgos and Megalochori. We spent our last day on the black and red beaches. If we had one more day, we would have had time for a fun excursion. So, 5 days should be ideal to see everything Santorini has to offer. The next question is how to get around the island. The best way to get around Santorini is to rent a car. While there are local buses and taxis on the island, they can be slow and busy during the high season. Plus, having your own car gives you more flexibility to explore lesser known places at your own pace. 
When you are in the towns, you see many shops offering rental cars, scooters, and quad bikes. However, I always prefer to book the car rental online in advance. This way you can compare prices and terms and secure the best deal. We book our car from the airport. When we arrived by ferry at the port, we took a local bus to the airport to pick up the car. This arrangement was convenient because it allowed us to easily drop off the car when we flew out. And let's talk about food in Santorini. We love Greek food. Honestly, who doesn't? We've traveled to many different destinations in Greece and always enjoyed great quality Greek cuisine. However, the situation can be a bit different in Santorini. Don't get me wrong, there are nice restaurants with good food. But Santorini is not Crete. The food here might not be the best in Greece. That said, we did find a great local place outside Fira, where we enjoyed authentic Greek food. Another thing to keep in mind is that many of the famous restaurants will be booked well in advance. So if you have a restaurant in mind, especially if it offers sunset views, be sure to reserve your table ahead of time. Is Santorini really expensive? Let's talk about the elephant in the room that not many people discuss on social media. Santorini can be very expensive, especially compared to other Greek islands, and accommodation will be your biggest expense. You can definitely find much cheaper accommodation in places like Crete, Rose, and Milos. The price of food and drinks is also higher than the average in Greece. And for pink lemonade, we are going to pay 14 euros. This doesn't mean you can't find budget-friendly options. There are local tavernas away from the main tourist areas. But you are in Santorini, and if you want to have a nice meal in a good restaurant with views, you might need to splash out a bit. While Santorini is known for its luxury, there are still plenty of free and fun activities such as hiking, watching the sunset, and relaxing on the beach. But where to watch the sunset? Santorini is known for offering some of the best sunsets in Greece. As I mentioned earlier, Ea, particularly Ea Castle, is the most popular spot on the island to watch the sunset. It gets very crowded and you need to arrive early because the car park has limited space. Another great spot to watch the sunset is the highest point in Pyrgos. It offers stunning views and is less crowded than Ea. Additionally, the Akotiri Lighthouse is another peaceful and less crowded location to enjoy the sunset. But what to pack? Santorini is hilly and has a lot of stairs. So make sure to pack comfortable shoes because you will be doing a lot of walking. The sun can be strong and there isn't much greenery for protection. So bring hats and sun cream to protect yourself from the sun. Santorini is a picturesque island with many photo opportunities. So plan ahead your outfits and pack accordingly. You can also download my packing checklist for free. Find the link in the description. Santorini is touristy, but I believe everyone should visit Santorini at least once. It is the most visited island in Greece, and there is a reason for that. I hope you find this video helpful, and in the next video, I will share top places to visit in Santorini.